Good day, students. This is a review session on dividing polynomials. So, write this title down in your notebooks. The title of this lesson is Review on Dividing Dividing polynomials. Make sure you're writing this down. Alright, learning objective. I'll write down the learning objective by hand so that you all can have the time to copy it down. So, the review objective. The review objective is as follows. You will complete four crossword problems Possible problems by applying by applying the long division algorithm to dividing polynomials. by binomials. Okay? So this is the uh, review objective for today. You're going to be expected to complete uh, four problems by applying the log division algorithm to dividing polynomials by binomials. So this should be a concept that you've seen before, nothing new. You learned this in algebra 2. So it shouldn't be anything new for you. So let us start by considering the following example. Example 1. Now, after this example, I'll give you one problem to try out, and then I'll go over this with the whole class. Example 1. Divide. Divide. 4x to the 4th minus 19x squared plus 15x plus 3 by 2x plus 5 using long division. Using long division. Okay, write this down. We're going to attempt to divide this polynomial by this binomial by using the long division algorithm. So I'm going to go over the, the whole process with you, so pay your close attention. So first thing we're going to do is make sure that all the degrees are counted for. If there are no degrees accounted for, you will replace it with a placeholder for any degrees that are missing. So you look at the degrees, make sure they are in descending order, and then ask yourself, are there any degrees missing? So it's clearly in descending order. We have 4, 2, 1, 0. But wait a minute, there's no 3 there, so we're going to need a placeholder for the third degree term. So when I'm setting this problem up, watch this carefully. I'm going to write this as 4 x to the 4th, so for the 3rd degree term, I'm going to write plus 0x to the 3rd, so the, this is called a placeholder, plus, and then minus, then you can bring that down, 19x squared, 
plus 15x plus 3. So this whole uh, polynomial will be divided by the binomial 2x plus 5. Okay? So we're going to divide it by the binomial 2x plus 5. So we're going to put 2x plus 5 on the outside. So when you're dividing a polynomial by a binomial, you just focus on the first term of the divisor and the dividend. Just focus on the first terms. And you ask yourself, 2x times what gives me 4x to the 4? That's the question. 2x times what gives me 4x to the 4? And obviously, 2 times 2 gives me 4. I know x times x third to the third gives me x to the fourth. So my result will be a degree less than this, so it's going to become uh, 2x to the third. Why? Because 2 times 2 is going to give me 4, and x to the third times x will give me x to the fourth which must be identical to the top, or else it's wrong. So this times this, but we have to distribute. This 2x to the third has to be distributed to the first term and the second term. So we distribute this to the first term, we get first to the fourth. Then we distribute it to the second term, you get positive, 10x to the third, like that. And then we're going to su subtract, which means we're going to switch the signs. So we're going to subtract, this is going to become minus, and this plus becomes a minus. Okay, you always flip the signs to subtract, because minus means you're adding the opposite. So what I'm doing now is just adding the opposite. So I'll combine downwards. This first term must always cancel out to zero. So these first terms cancel out to zero first terms cancel out, and then 0 minus 10 is going to yield negative 10x to the third, and then you drop this down, minus 19x squared. So we're going to do the same process again. Look at the first term here and the first term here, and ask yourself, how many times is 2x going to 10x to the third? Or 2x times what gives you negative 10x to the third? So 2x times what gives you negative 10x to the third? 2x times negative 2 times what is 10? 2 times 5, right? And x times what is x to the third? x times x squared, right? So now you're going to distribute to both terms. The first distribution must match the first term, and the second distribution doesn't really matter. So negative 5x squared. 2x is going to yield negative 10x squared, which is like the x cubed, which is exactly what we want. And a negative 5x squared times positive 5 yields negative 25x squared. Like that. And then what we're going to do next is subtract. So when we subtract, we just switch the sign of what's under. So this minus becomes a plus. This plus becomes this minus becomes a plus because I'm subtracting. And when you subtract, you just add the opposite. So I'm going to add the opposite. Opposite changes the sign. So the first two must always cancel out like this. And then when you combine these two down, you have 6x squared, 6x squared, and then you drop down this one, bring it down, plus 15x. Okay, now I'm going to do the same process again. 2x times what gives me 6x squared? It's positive, so this has to be positive. I know 2 times 3 is 6, x times x is x squared. So um, I'm going to put a 3 here, because 3 times 2 is 6, and an x here, because x times x is x squared. So when you distribute to the first, it must match this one, so you cancel out when you subtract. 
and then you distribute to the second one because there are two terms here. This is the binomial. So let's distribute. So 3x times 2x is 6x uh, squared. And then 3x times 5 is positive 15x. Now what we do is subtract, which means we're going to take the opposite, add the opposite. So opposite of positive 6 is negative. And this positive becomes a negative. And then we combine downwards. When we combine downwards, we're going to have 0. This cancels out. So this is interesting. This cancels out, that cancels out. This cancels out, that cancels out. And you just bring down the 3. This 3 gets dropped down here. This 3. So since this 3 is degree 0, and this, what we're dividing by is degree 1, this degree is higher than this, so this cannot go into that. So this is your remainder. So your answer is going to be answer. Yes. Are you ready for this? 2x to the third minus 5x squared plus 3x uh, plus 3 divided by 2x plus 5. And that is your answer for this problem. Okay? Now, I'd like you to apply what we just covered. Try and see if you can apply this to the following Problem. If you have any questions, I'll, I will answer them while you're working on this problem. So do try this. So try this. Try this. Divide. This is example two. Divide. Um, Sixteen x to the four plus 36x squared minus 20x by 4x minus 2 using long division. Okay? Try this problem and I will go over the solutions more entirely. Okay, welcome back. Now let's, uh, work out the solution to this problem. Same setting, I'm going to write this as 16x to the 4 plus 0x to the 3rd plus 36x squared minus 20x. This has no 3, that's why I'm putting the uh, 3 there as a, as a placeholder. Okay, and this has degree 1 and then also we need to a constant or a 0 degree term. So we can put the 0. Alright, now we're dividing this by uh, 4x minus 2. Okay, so let's do this. Focusing on just the first term of the divisor and the dividend. Um, 4x and 16x to the 4th. 4 times what gives me 16? 4 times 4 is 16. And then x times what gives me x to the 4? x times x to the 3rd. Like that. And then distribute this to both of them. So you're going to get 16x to the 4th. And then for the second one you distribute minus 8x to the 3rd. You subtract, which is the same thing as adding the opposite. So you do the opposite and you add downwards. So this becomes negative and this negative becomes a plus. First two must, so it should always cancel out. So this two cancel out. And that yields um, 8x to the third. Okay? This second term comes down with the sign. So plus 36 x squared. Same process again. 4x times what gives you 8x to the third. 4x times, uh, oh wait, 
4 times 1 is 8. 4 times 2, right? 2. 2 times 4. And then x times 1 is x to the third, x times x squared. So when you distribute it, you're going to get 8x to the third minus 4x squared. So you're going to subtract again, which means add the opposite. So this becomes a minus, that becomes a plus. And then we add downwards. Okay? When we add downwards, we're going to get a cancellation action happening here, which should always happen. And then this will become 40x squared. And then you bring that down also the last term. You bring that the last term down. So you bring that down. So that's going to have negative 20x over here. So we do the same process again. Focus on the first term and the first term here. Um, it's positive 4, positive 10x. In this case, because uh, 4x times 10x gives you the first term here. So distribute it to both of them and you will get 40x squared minus 20x. And then you combine downwards or you add the opposite, subtract or add the opposite. So from subtracting, this becomes a minus and this becomes a plus. Oh, check this out. They will cancel out. So this cancels with that, that cancels with that. So you're just left with zero. This zero is all that is left. You can bring that down. If you like to bring down to zero. And there's not a number, so it's just a number. Zero is the first is a zero degree term, and this is a one degree term, so it's this is a high degree, so there's nothing more you can do here, so you're done. So your answer the answer is um four x to the third plus two x squared plus ten x. And there's no remainder here for this problem. So that's basically what your answer is. Alright, now you're going to be provided with four problems that you're going to work on for today's password. For the first part of today's password, and then we'll go into the lesson for today. Okay? Thank you for listening.